Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Netherlands. NAC in the heart of the Netherlands, beneath the sprawling skies and fields of tulips, lay the old city of Breda. It was here, in the vibrant tapestry of Dutch culture, that NAC Breda, a football club with a rich history, had become a symbol of community, pride, and a shared passion for the beautiful game. However, the club found itself entangled in a web of uncertainty and transformation. It all began one crisp autumn afternoon as the fans, dressed in the club's iconic yellow and black, gathered outside the Rat Verleg Stadium. The air was electric with anticipation, not just for the match ahead, but for greater ambitions that had begun to stir within the hearts of the supporters. The recent seasons had been tumultuous, oscillating between fleeting glimmers of hope and the shadows of disappointing performances. A sense of urgency surrounded the club. They needed not just victory on the pitch, but a renewed sense of identity. At the forefront of this search was a passionate young journalist named Lisa. After years of covering local sports, she had built a connection with the fans who treated the club not just as a team, but as an extension of their lives, their values, and their community spirit. As the club faced climbing financial debts and a dwindling fan base, Lisa recognized a deeper story unfolding, one that connected the fate of NAC Breda with the social fabric of the entire region. Lisa proposed a series of articles titled NAC, Heart and Soul of Breda, digging into the club's history, the fierce loyalty of its supporters, and the pressing need to redefine its purpose in a changing world. She understood that the club was more than just a football team. It was a cultural institution that had weathered wars, economic downturns, and the evolving landscape of Dutch football. She saw the need to uncover the reasons driving the community's passionate search for a revival. Her investigation led her to the elders of Breda, who recounted tales of glory days. The thrilling matches, the legendary players, and the unyielding spirit of the fans who filled the stands long before social media brought news of the latest matches in homes across the country. Lisa discovered a treasure trove of anecdotes that revealed how the club had once united people from all walks of life, bridging divisions between neighborhoods, generations, and cultures. But as Lisa delved deeper, she found the realities currently facing NAC were stark. She sat with diehard fans who shared their frustrations over the declining attendance and lack of investment. They spoke of how the club's struggles mirrored larger societal challenges in the Netherlands from economic hardship in smaller boroughs to the migration of youth to larger cities. The empty seats were telling. They were more than just a lack of ticket sales. They were a reflection of a community searching for connection in increasingly isolating times. Determined to represent the voices of the fans, Lisa organized a community forum at the local cafe, where older fans and younger supporters could come together, share their ideas, and brainstorm ways to revitalize the club. The discussion sparked a whirlwind of creativity, ideas for outreach programs to engage schools, initiatives to restore the historic identity of NAC, and plans for fan-owned shares that would foster a sense of shared ownership. The passion in the room was palpable. As they debated their collective future, the essence of Breda came alive. In the weeks that followed, Lisa's series gained momentum. Articles turned into podcasts, community meetings morphed into action committees, and slowly but surely, NAC Breda's narrative shifted. The club's management noticed the fervor, taking pride in the surge of grassroots support. This newfound vitality attracted attention from potential investors who were impressed by the community's commitment and the shared dream of restoring the club to its former glory. As winter melted into spring, the NAC fans returned to the Rat Verleg Stadium not just to watch games, but to cheer for a cause that resonated deeply with their identity. They celebrated each goal not as mere points on a board, but as a stepping stone towards unity and hope. Lisa's articles didn't just tell a story. They sparked a movement, a united fan base that had taken ownership of their club's destiny. So, in the heart of the Netherlands, while NAC Breda sought victory on the pitch, it inadvertently embarked on a journey to rediscover its roots, reigniting a flame of passion and community that had the power to transcend football itself. And for Lisa, with her notebook and pen, she realized that sometimes the truest stories emerge not just from the game, 
but from the hearts of the people who make it all worthwhile.